Hi, my name is Ted Pasternak, and I'd like to uh, show you today how to build what are called global buckets. Uh, if you're interested in finding out more, go to globalbuckets.org. Two young men out of Boulder uh, put a great site together. And what my situation is, I live at about 9,000 feet in the Colorado Rockies, so food is tough to grow up here. So I'm experimenting and doing a whole uh, series of global buckets inside my home. And so I'll show you how to build them, and then I'll show you what kind of food we can get from them. So uh, let's get started. First, what you need is five gallon buckets. You can find these at the dump. I got them from Lowe's or Home Depot, you can get them. They're inexpensive, they're about 250, and you'll need two per bucket, um, two per global bucket. They come apart like this. And we're gonna, I'll just give you a quick overview of what uh, we're gonna be doing. First of all, you gotta put a series of holes in the bottom. Uh, you're gonna put a pipe in here. You're gonna put some drain holes in the second one. The second bucket have small drain holes. I'll go through it in more detail, but that's the basics. You're gonna fill this bucket here with earth. So this will be filled with earth. And this white tube here is the watering tube. So you put the two together like so. Water in here, your plant will be growing in here. We'll cover this with black plastic and there'll be a small area for your plants to come through. So that's the basic overview. And um, from here, we'll go into actually building one. And then I'll try to, uh, over time, show you how they're growing the food. So let's get started. So let's get started with building a global bucket. First thing you'll need is a drill, a measuring device, uh, a little uh, cutting knife, and some drill bits, uh, a marking pencil, and some plastic cups. So, and obviously you need a bucket. <laughs> so uh, on the bottom of this bucket, what we're gonna do is, um, we're gonna drill a series of holes here. This will allow moisture uh, to drip back into the reservoir. So um, we'll do a whole series of holes all around this bucket, all the way around. And then right here, I'm gonna cut and put in our watering pipe, which in this case, this is a inch and a half uh, PVC pipe, very inexpensive, less than $4 for 10 feet of it. So we'll mark here and we'll mark this here and this will be cut out. And like I say, we'll put in the uh, series of holes here. I'm using a quarter inch drill bit to put these holes in. So let me go ahead, do that, and then show you what we get. So now I've uh, got some holes drilled in here, as you can see on the bottom. And uh, I've taken this cup and I've drawn a circle here. This is the wicking cup. And I'll go more into detail about the wicking cup as we go along. So we're gonna cut a hole uh, in this area here, and here's where our watering hole is going to be, and this is where our wicking cup. So I'm going to go ahead and continue with these holes here, put this hole in for the wicking cup, and the water hole. Well, I've uh, got the holes in the bucket. As you can see, there are a whole series of quarter-inch drill holes here that will allow the uh, bucket to drain into the reservoir. I have here for the wicking cup, and here, this hole here is for the watering tube. So this tube will go in, the watering tube will go in here, like so, and go into the reservoir below. And I have my wicking cup, which has been sliced, I'll show you that later. Uh, and that goes in here, like so. So you can see what it looks like on the inside. Now we go to the second bucket, this one here, which this bucket is going into here. This uh, lower bucket will hold the water or a reservoir to water the rest of the, uh, the upper bucket. 
So on this uh, lower bucket, what we have to do is um, put some overflow uh, holes here. Put in three or four of those. Now, you've got to put the two buckets together to find out where they're coming and then leave about a half inch air space. So in this case, uh, on these buckets, it's about an inch and a half up from the bottom. And I put in a hole here. And that will allow any uh, overflow uh, so you won't overwater the bucket. So that's what that hole's for. So from here, we'll go on and uh, get into the planting and uh, the final put together of uh, the wicking cup and the watering uh, tube. So the next step here is to put in your watering tube. This obviously has to be cut off. I like to have it about, you know, four inches or so from the top of the bucket. So I'll mark this and I'll go cut that. And what I've done here is I've put two small holes uh, right into the bucket and I've gotten some cable ties and that will go right, I'll cable tie this so that it's secure. And then this bucket will go into the reservoir bucket like so. And then I mentioned to you about the wicking cup. What I've done here is I've got a series of slices, about eight different slices that I've used a knife to slice this. And that will go in uh, the middle hole here like so.